I reckon that if I had to make a video every single time that the internet or someone specific on the internet had to go after Asmongold, my entire page could literally just be just about this man. Honestly, the amount of times that he says something and Twitter gets uh, like stupidly mad over it, and I would say that 99% of the times that Twitter gets mad at him for something, they it is completely fucking stupid. And once again, it's happened. I mean, like I said, if I had to make a video about him every single time Twitter tried to cancel him, I, it would happen almost every fucking day. Like, that's how much that Twitter cannot stand this guy. But I definitely wanted to talk about this because this seemed to have escalated to another um, another level where, you know, someone actually came out and tried to attack Asmund. I mean, you know, a lot of people do. That happens all the time. But I definitely wanted to talk about this one because it's kind of, you know, started off here and then it's just gotten a lot more. And there's just a lot to this. So I thought I'd, you know, take time to talk about this situation. But if you don't know what's been going on, I'm going to give you the backstory first before we like really get into the whole Casey Tron thing is because it, 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 you have to know the backstory because it did start with something and then you know, her comments did come from what he originally said. So Asman was reacting to Hassan being on Piers Morgan and it's not the first time that Hassan has been on there and Asman Gold was talking about how you know he finds it stupid about how all these people that are protesting for Palestine are standing in the middle of the road and obviously... That clip got put onto Twitter. So I'm going to show the clip right here and you can just garner your own personal um, opinions about it. What gives you the unique moral authority to take to break the law because of what you believe in? What gives you the right to do that? Well, you don't have that right. So don't be surprised whenever people get you out of the fucking road and arrest you. It's yeah, it's narcissistic and entitled. That's insane. It's like these people think that the world revolves around their issue. There's thousands of issues in the world. Is Israel-Palestine the only place where bad things are happening? Look at Ukraine. No. What if everybody acted that way? The world would be chaos. You can't realistically act that way. It doesn't matter what you think is effective or not. Just because something you don't have the right to make an effective protest based off of the rules that you invent. So his opinions on it are pretty strong. And it was originally tweeted out by this guy. I don't think it was, well, originally tweeted out. But this is the one that went viral. As you can see, it has like one and a half million views on this. And this guy and many other people disagreed with Asmongold. Now, I'm going to put my sense to about it before I get into it. Just in case if you're like, you know, you want my opinion, which you probably really don't. But I'm going to fucking give it to you anyways. Is that like, I agree with Asmund. Like, I, I wholeheartedly agree with Asmund. And Asmund has even come out in his recent video talking about that he's more pro Palestine than he would be towards Israel. And he still thinks that people standing in the middle of the road are fucking stupid. And I 100% agree with him. I, I agree with him the fact that you should be allowed to protest, you should be allowed to peacefully protest, but standing blocking people in the middle of the road is stupid. It's completely fucking dumb. Like, it's honestly just stupid. You're not doing any good. If anything, you're doing more bad than you are good. And Asman obviously replied to this guy's original tweet, and he replied saying, you're not protesting for Palestine by preventing someone minimum wage worker from getting to work on time, get out of the road, which is 100% right. You're not doing anything. And this guy stupidly replies to it saying, would you have said the same thing during the civil rights movement? Asma obviously replies to it saying about how ridiculous it is. And then he replies to it talking about how he has friends and family in Palestine. And I will just say this, that that is completely fucking dumb. The fact that he like would go ahead and compare the civil rights movement in America to people protesting for Palestine, they are completely two different things. One was happening in your country, and a lot of the times when people were protesting, they were protesting against the laws that were happening. And even then, like, if you look at MLK, if you look at Martin Luther King, he himself, he was very much against, like, any type of things that would harm the public. He was definitely more for peaceful protesting and things that were, like, not over the top. Go ahead and look at Martin Luther King about his stance of when it actually came to protesting. And you would see why he was such a great man and why, like, the fact that people actually wanted to follow him and why the things that he fought for 
went through. I also saw XQCs give his two cents about this as well, and he even even uh, XQC agree with this, saying most people that are trying to get to work, they don't know about politics. Well, it's now well, it's now fuck your movement, which is 100% right. I mean, these people probably don't know. A lot of people don't really like pay attention to what's going on. Even if they don't pay attention, they're you know just kind of on the outside, and they know that like you know these two people are fighting, these two countries are fighting, and if they see you standing in the fucking middle of the road blocking their way to get to work, they're more gonna fucking hate you than they are going to be on your side but obviously one of the people that had a massive opinion on this was this streamer named casey tron and she originally replied to that tweet that i showed saying that i don't respect asman because he has bad takes like this pretty much all the time which i mean if you had to ask twitter about asman's takes yeah According to Twitter, he has bad takes all the time. But if you really had to watch his content and actually pay attention to what he's saying, you know that a lot of the times what he's saying is fucking true. And even if you don't like it and you hate the things that he's saying, it's still true. Like, just because you don't like what someone's saying doesn't mean it's fucking wrong. But she didn't just go this far. She didn't just, like, I've replied to the tweet and that's it. What did this woman decide to do? She decided to, like, make her own tweet just full on attacking Asman for no reason whatsoever. fucking ever. So she tweets this out, talking about how Asman Gold hates himself for more than what any of us ever could. Just look at the lifestyle he chooses to live as a multi-millionaire. There is nothing that could be said to th that disgusting man that could ever make him change his filthy, hateful, putrid ways. Just a real stinker. And Asman, the absolute fucking Chad, replies to it saying, you're fat and you spend your life smoking weed and doing drugs. If anyone's a stinker, it's you. Which is the biggest fucking clapback I have ever goddamn seen on this app. And it's not a lie either. And before I get to that, XQC, who, I mean, he's he agrees with Asman like, on a lot of things. Like I said, is that I feel like a lot of the things that Asman says is, you know, relatively true, whether you like it or not. He does speak the truth a lot of the times, even if, you disagree with it and you're like, that's still bad. Just because something's bad doesn't mean it ain't fucking true. But XQC, obviously, you know, he replied to it talking about how money is a financial freedom. Freedom is having the ability to choose what you want to do as much as possible. Why are you mad he lives the way he wants to? You have a lot of money too, yet you are overweight and choose to smoke weed all the time. Respect people's choices, lady. And then she fucking decides to like clap back at XQC as well. Little bro lacks basic reading comprehension. I'm not mad that he lives the way he chooses to. I'm saying he hates himself for choosing the way that he lives. You want to talk about my drug addiction? Worry about your Adderall abuse. Now, I don't know if XQC has any type of Adderall abuse, but... I think she's the one who doesn't know how to read. Because if you're going ahead and you're saying something like that, you're 100% hating on the way and mad at the way that he lives. Now, Casey Tron might have a little bit of money, but if you compare the two, she does not compare when it comes to status and wealth that Asmongold has. And he's not hating on himself if he goes ahead and lives that way. It's his choice. He can, he can do that if he wants. He's said multiple times about how he can easily pay people to get his house clean. He, he 100% could. He could pay people to, let, to get his house clean. He could pay people to do this. And then he could obviously spend more money to like, you know, make himself like buy himself more clothes, buy a new house and sell the one that he's in, buy fancy. But he chooses not to. He likes to stay like as, as humble as he possibly can. And he likes to live a little bit more of a simple life. And even me, like, I, I, I wouldn't like to live the way that he would. I, I don't think I'd be, I don't think I could. No, no way whatsoever. But like, how can you judge someone when you yourself live shit? You are fat and all you do is smoke weed all the time. That's all she fucking does. And then she thinks that she has the right to go ahead and judge someone the way that they live. And not only did she judge the way that he lives, she went fucking lower. She went to what is probably the lowest of low and decided to talk about Asmongold's dead mother. Yes, I did like that tweet. It says, thankfully, XQC's lifestyle hasn't led directly to the death of one of his parents yet. So he has that going for him over Asmon, at least. I'll admit, I did like that tweet. And I I have a lack of respect for Asmon Gold after letting his mom with COPD live in those sort of conditions. I'm sorry. Like, you're a millionaire. You have all of the resources in the world. Why is your sick mother living like that? Like, I'll say it. I don't care. If that makes me a bad person, 
still miles above of Asmund Gold. Miles above Asmund Gold. I'm sorry. Like, I have literally a fraction of the income, and I take better care of my parents than that. And I don't have anywhere near close the resources that he- Now to me, talking about someone's dead mother is fucking terrible. Like, how much of a fucking loser do you have to be and wanting so much attention that you have to go ahead and do talk about something like that? And I bet she doesn't even really know the whole entire story with Asmund's Gold's mother. I mean, we still don't. Me, I'm a massive fan of Asmund Gold. I've said this multiple times, like o over over the year, whenever I've you know brought Asmund Gold or anyone from OTK up, is that I'm a massive Asmund Gold fan and a massive OTK fan. Like I've seen, like I've watched Asmund Gold about him talking about his mother, like on multiple different occasions, and he talked about how much he tried to push his mother to lose weight and to stop smoking. He tried to push her to live better so that she could live a longer life, but you know it's not his fault that she didn't want to do that, but he still tried to do best from her. And there's probably so many other things that like were going on in their lives that we wouldn't know about. And I saw his video about this whole entire situation. He talked about how, you know, even her saying that, that he's not offended by that whatsoever. And uh, I mean, props to him because I, I can bet you that a whole lot of other people would be, I myself wouldn't be offended, but I would definitely be fucking pissed off. Like I, I would a hundred percent be pissed off because that's how I'm seeing this situation. Like I'm picturing it myself as in like that in my shoes where if my mother had to pass away and then someone was going ahead and talking about my mom in that way, I would be rightfully fucking pissed off. I would be 100% pissed off. And it's just like, you don't know my life and what the hell's going on about that. And you yourself, from what the way that you perceive yourself in the internet, where you're severely overweight and you do nothing with your life besides smoke weed, but yet you want to go ahead and judge the way other people live, which to me is completely fucking stupid. And the fact that like she even had to reply to all of this situation in the first place is also dumb. Like, yeah, Put your little tweet on the on the initial tweet. Put your little reply about how you don't respect Asmund for his opinions. But then going at his character, like that's what all these people do. Whenever they hate Asmund, instead of trying to come up with a great argument against his, all they try to do is hate on him. That's it. Because they can't come up with anything. They can't really like strategically think about like a great way to rebuttal against something that he says they just attack him as a person and that's all they fucking do but i'd like to hear what you guys have to think about this down below that's it for me peace out